Hi everyone. Today I'm doing a video all about the rotary polisher. This happens to be my favourite machine, being the fine WPO 1415-XE, which is an ultra low speed polisher. This tool, this kind of tool has been used for decades in the body shop industry and in the detailing industry to great effect. But there are still some who, who give this tool a bad name and say things about it that really are not true. So the first one I'm going to mention is, people, is that people still believe, some, that the rotary polisher will always cause a buff mark, burn paint, or cause a hologram. Now, whilst it's extremely easy to put a hologram in with a rotary, it will not always do that. The fact is, is that as long as the backing plate is a good quality backing plate and it isn't warped, some of them do have manufacturing defects and they end up warped uh, when new or they actually get warped over time, they can. And if your pad is not perfectly centered on that plate, you will put a swirl in. If you have a very clean pad, you keep it clean, you blow it with compressed air, wool pad spur, if you're using wool, and you keep, it, keep a moist film on the surface and you increase your arm speed, keep the pressure away at the end and you lower, lower your machine speed down more and more and more and more, you will either have a tiny hologram or you will have nothing, depending on the pad, the paint type and all that. If this, if this tool hologrammed every single time anybody used it, my teacher would say to me, oh yeah, I, I get holograms too. He doesn't and um, he's been doing it for four decades. He's now out of the, out of the game, but uh, doing other things, but he does not get holograms. Paint types can, can cause a problem as well. Obviously, there's some paint types you just don't use a rotary on, but uh, as long as your plate is good, your pad is the right size, perfectly centered, and you finish flat, and you lower the speed down, you will get, especially with foams, some foams, you will get a great finish and either a very tiny hologram or nothing, but it can be achieved. This tool happens to start at 200 RPM and finishes at about, I think, 12 or 1300 RPM. It's as high as it goes. So uh, one thing I teach my students is that I do no more than probably 1000, 1200, I'm probably like 600 to 900 to correct. I might go a little bit higher, but then I wind it back down, the RPM down and down and down, and I blow my pads out all the time during the process of one area. I don't go and do an entire process on a section and then clean. Uh, with foam, you can get away with that, but with wool especially, some wools, if it's not perfectly clean, um, you know, a lot of people in the body shop industry, some of them anyway, they do use their pads too dirty, and they just mar. It can also come down to what products you use. There are some that still use silica abrasives that cut quicker than aluminium oxide abrasives, but they do finish not as good. And they can have sharply faced abrasives in there, which are not uniform, and which can actually rip and tear into the paint and gouge it and cause a lot of haze and scouring and marring. And people think, oh, yeah, the machine's the problem. This thing won't do anything unless you use it. Um, it's you that's using it and what what pads and liquids and plates and things like that you're doing in your arm speeds and are you working it flat, are you tilting it? If you tilt it, you can get more cut, but you can actually finish worse. Are you spraying water? If you spray water, you are washing out some of the lubricants in the polish if you use too much, which means it cuts more but finishes worse. Um, there are a lot of characteristics, but a rotary will not always cause a hologram. There are people I know who are better than me who do not get holograms and they know they don't and it does finish better. So um, yeah, basically when it comes to backing plates, there are a lot of them. I've got many in these cabinets, thin, thick, soft, hard, you name it. But the pad has to be, the most important aspect in my opinion of using a rotary is the speed you use it at, clean pads, and a perfectly centered pad on this plate. Um, that's just one little bit about the rotary that I want to bring up. Um, there's a lot more, 
but here's the, if I zoom it right in, here, show you, get it up close, you might be able to see that. Um, and I think, yeah, 200, to, sorry, 1500 RPM. So it's pretty, pretty versatile. And um, it's a great tool, cost me about $700. They don't make these anymore because these have push pads. They don't have a trigger. So you adjust the speed this way or this way to go up or this way to go down on this side. Um, but it's a great tool. I have got another, there's another piece that goes on here which I don't have anymore, which I've got to get a, another one of, but you actually turn the machine on by pushing this one or this one down here and then pushing, pushing this guy here at the same time. So it's not a traditional style rotary in terms of its activation. But it's a fantastic tool, very light, very powerful, and I tend to run it at about the slowest I'll go is probably like 300. 200 doesn't seem to do anything. 300 or, th or 350, 400 is a nice finishing number. 600 often is fine. Some finish at 900, but I prefer 300 to about 600 max. Um, so yeah, and when it comes to a hologram, if you get holograms, you really can control how bad or good you end up with a, with a hologram. If you run at speed two and a half on a Makita rotary and you stop and you don't blow the pad out once, get rid of all that build up residue and all that, all that paint residue and you just keep going and you stop, it is often the case that you're gonna have a really nasty, hazy hologram or worse. If you slow that machine speed down and then work it again and then you a bit more, a bit more. I'm not talking about doing 15 passes. This is within four or five passes. Just you will actually reduce it down to under a thousand you will make that hologram so fine that even with wall, that your next step will just be boom, it's gone. That's what I do. I don't believe in doing high speed and just cutting it and then going, okay, I'll refine it now and I'll polish it down. I want it almost as good as a second step in my first step. And I still only do between two and four, five, six passes max uh, doing a section with the rotary. There's no need to be doing nine, 10, 11 passes. You're just wasting time and um, not really achieving much more so thanks for watching guys a lot more to do yet on the rotary but that's the start so um, the first part of of the rotary polisher thanks for watching guys see ya